Hi guys, this is AS Chemistry, Volume of Gases, Question 1. Most modern cars are fitted with airbags. These work by decomposing sodium azide to liberate nitrogen gas, which inflates the bag. A typical driver's airbag contains 50 grams of sodium azide. Calculate the volume of nitrogen this will produce at room temperature. And we have been given the air of sodium and nitrogen and the fact that one mole of any gas occupies 24 dm cube at room temperature and pressure. So the first thing we need to do is to calculate the number of moles of sodium azide. So in order to do that, the first thing is we need the MR of sodium azide, which would be 23 plus 14 into 3 because there are three nitrogen atoms which will give us a value of 65. So this is the MR of sodium azide. The next thing we need is the number of moles. So 50 grams of sodium azide upon 65 gives us the moles of sodium azide to be 0 0.769 moles. Now, according to the given equation, two moles of sodium azide produces three moles of nitrogen. So 0 0.769 moles of sodium azide will produce how many moles of nitrogen? So the calculation would be 0 0.769 divided by 2 and multiplied by 3, which gives us a value of 1.1538 moles of nitrogen gas being produced. So the number of moles of nitrogen gas produced has been obtained. Now, what we need to do is we need to obtain the volume. So, one mole occupies a volume of 24 TM cube. So, 1.1538 moles would occupy a volume of 1.1538 divided by 1 and multiplied by 24, giving us a value of 27.69 DM cube which is matching the option given in C. Therefore, option C is the correct option for this question. Question two, oxides of nitrogen are pollutant gases which are emitted from car exhausts. In urban traffic, when a car travels one kilometer, it releases 0 0.23 grams of an oxide of nitrogen NXOY, which occupies 120 cm cube. What are the values of X and Y? So here we need to find that uh, the oxide of nitrogen that has the same number of moles as the value given in the question. So 120 cm cube of the oxide is produced. So the moles of oxide would be 120 divided by 24,000, which would give us a value of 0 0.005 moles. So now we need to check each option and obtain a similar value for the number of moles to actually understand which of the oxides is the correct oxide. So in option A, the value of x is 1 and y is 1. That makes the oxide NO. So NO will have an MR value of 30. And now the mass given is 0 0.23 gram. So what we do is 0 0.23 upon 30. This is mass upon MR, which will give us the number of moles. And when we perform this calculation, the number of moles obtained is 0 0.00767 moles, which is not the same as the moles obtained by dividing 120 by 24,000 using the volume given, which is 0 0.005. So option A is incorrect. Moving on to option B, X is 1 and Y is 2, making the oxide NO2. And the MR of NO2 would be 16 times 2 is 32 plus 14 is 46. So the MR is 46. So now what we do is 0 0.23 divided by 46. This gives us a value of 0 0.005 moles, which is the same number of moles as calculated using the given volume, making option B the correct option for this question.
question three which mass of gas would occupy a volume of three dm cube at 25 degrees celsius and one atmosphere pressure so we have a volume of three dm cube so we find out the number of moles by dividing three by 24 which will give us a value of 0 0.125 moles so now we divide the mass of the given gas by its MR and the value of moles obtained, which would be the same as 0 0.125, would be the correct answer. So in the case of oxygen, the MR would be 32. In the case of nitrogen, the MR would be 28. In the case of sulfur dioxide, the MR would be 32 plus 32.1, which will make it 64.1. And in the case of CO2, the MR would be 32 plus 12, 44. So now we've calculated the MR of all the four gases. Now one by one, we would divide the mass by MR to obtain the number of moles. So for option A, this would be 3.2 divided by 32, which would give us a value of 0 0.1 moles, making this option incorrect. For option B, we would have 5.6 divided by 28, which would give us a value of 0 0.2 moles, which would make option B incorrect as well. For option C, we would have 8 divided by 64.1, giving us a value of 0 0.125 moles, which is the same as the number of moles calculated using the given volume, making option C the correct option for this question. Question four. A chemist took two dm cube of nitrogen gas measured under room conditions and reacted it with large volume of hydrogen gas in order to produce ammonia. Only 15% of nitrogen gas reacted to produce ammonia. What mass of ammonia was formed? So, first the reaction would be N2 plus 3H2 giving us 2 moles of NH3. Now, the number of moles of nitrogen would be 2 upon 24. This will give us the number of moles of nitrogen. But at the same time, only 15% of nitrogen gas reacted. So, 15% would make this multiplied by 15 upon 100 which would give us a value of 0 0.0125 moles of nitrogen that reacted. So according to the given equation, moles of ammonia is twice the moles of nitrogen. So moles of ammonia would be 2 into 0 0.0125, giving us the number of moles of ammonia to be 0. 0 0.025 moles. So now we have obtained the moles of ammonia that were produced. The next thing we need to do is calculate the MR of ammonia, which would be 14 plus uh, 3, 17. So MR of NH3 is 17. So the next step would be mass equals moles into MR, which would be 0 0.025 into 17. This will give us a mass value of 0 0.425 grams, making option B the correct option for this question. Question 5. 1 gram of metallic element reacts completely with 300 cm cube of oxygen at 298 Kelvin and 1 atmospheric pressure to form an oxide which contains O2 negative ions. The volume of 1 mole of gas at this temperature and pressure is 24 dm cube. What could be the identity of the metal? So first we need to find out the number of moles of oxygen that reacted. This would be 300 divided by 24 thousand giving us the moles of oxygen that reacted to be 0 0.0125 moles so now we need to find out which element reacted so in option a we've got calcium 
So the equation would be calcium plus half O2 giving us CaO. So one mole of calcium reacts with 0.5 moles of oxygen. So the number of moles of calcium would be two if one mole of oxygen is reacting. So the moles of oxygen that we have is 0 0.0125 making moles of calcium as 2 into 0 0.0125 which is equal to 0 0.025 moles. Now that we have moles of calcium we multiply moles by its AR value to obtain the mass of calcium which would be 0 0.025 into 40 0.1 giving us a mass of 1.0 grams which is the same as the mass given in the question making calcium the correct metal that reacted with oxygen and making option A the correct option for this question. Question 6. The compound S2O7 is hydrolyzed with water to produce sulfuric acid and oxygen only. Which volume of oxygen measured at room temperature and pressure is evolved when 0 0.352 grams of S2O7 is hydrolyzed? So the first thing we need to do is make the equation for the reaction of S2O7 with water to produce H2SO4 which is sulfuric acid and oxygen only. So now we've got two moles of sulfur. So in order to balance that we need two moles of sulfuric acid to balance the number of moles of sulfur which gives us a total uh, moles of hydrogen gas to be two. So in order to balance the hydrogen on the left side we multiply water by two. So now we total the oxygen on the left which is seven atoms in S2O7 and two atoms in water. So in total, nine atoms. And the number of oxygen present in H2O4 would be four times two is eight atoms. So we are left with one atom of oxygen. So that would make the number of moles of oxygen as half. So one mole of S2O7 produces half a mole of O2. So this completes step one. Step two would be calculating the MR of S2O7, which would be 2 into 32.1 plus 7 into 16, giving us a value of 176.2. So this completes step two. In step three, we calculate the moles of S2O7 that react. So the mass given is 0 0.352 grams. So 0 0.352 upon 176.2 giving us a value for the number of moles as 0 0.001977 moles. So according to the molar ratio given in the equation, one mole of S2O7 produces half mole of oxygen. So moles of oxygen would be 0 0.001977 into 0 0.5, which gives us a value of 9.98864 into 10 to the power of minus 4 moles of oxygen gas. And finally, in order to calculate the volume, we multiply the moles of oxygen, which is 9.98864 into 10 to the power of minus 4 by 24,000 because the volume in the options are in CM cube. So this gives us a final value of 23.97 CM cube. So this makes option B the correct option for this question. Question 7. The reaction between aluminum powder and anhydrous barium nitrate is used as the propellant in some fireworks. 
the metal oxides and nitrogen are only products. So the equation is given. Which volume of nitrogen measured under room conditions is produced when 0 0.783 grams of anhydrous barium nitrate reacts with an excess of aluminum? So here we see that 3 moles of barium nitrate produces 3 moles of nitrogen. So the molar ratio is 1 is to 1. So the number of moles of barium nitrate would be equal to the number of moles of nitrogen gas. So first of all, we will calculate the MR of barium nitrate. That would be barium is 137.3 plus. Now we've got 2 moles of nitrogen, 14 into 2, and we've got 6 moles of oxygen. So that would be 16 into 6 giving us an MR value of 261.3. So this is the MR of barium nitrate. The next step would be to calculate the moles of barium nitrate, which should, which would be the mass 0 0.783 divided by 261.3, giving us a total number of moles of 0 0.00299. 656 six moles. So these are the moles of barium nitrate, which is equal to the moles of nitrogen. So this is also the moles of nitrogen present. So in the final step, we multiply this value 0 0.00299656 by 24,000 because the values given in the options are in CM cube. So the answer that we obtain is 71.92 centimeter cube which makes option b the correct option for this question question 8 1.15 grams of a metallic element reacts completely with 300 cm cube of oxygen at 298 Kelvin and one atmospheric pressure to form an oxide which contains O2 negative ions. The volume of one mole of gas at the temperature and pressure is 24 dm cube. What could be the identity of the metal? So the first thing we need to do is calculate the number of moles of oxygen that reacts. So that would be 300 and it is in cm cube. So divided by 24,000 giving us a value of 0 0.0125 moles of oxygen gas. The next thing we need to do is calculate the number of moles of metal that is uh, reacting with oxygen. So in the case of calcium, it would be Ca plus half O2 giving us CaO. So the molar ratio of oxygen is to calcium would be 1 is to half which would be the same as 2 is to 1. So 1 mole of oxygen reacts with 2 moles of calcium. So in order to uh, find out the mass of calcium, first we multiply the moles of oxygen, which is 0 0.125 by 2. 0 0.125 into 2, giving us the moles of calcium to be 0 0.025 moles and the next step would be to find out whether calcium is the correct metal so what we would do is we would divide 1.15 the mass given in the question by the ar of calcium which is 40.1 this gives us a value of 0 0.0287 which is not the same as 0 0.025 so this eliminates calcium as the correct metal that reacted with oxygen. So now we'll continue the same procedure with magnesium, potassium and sodium. If magnesium is not the correct metal, then we'll move on to potassium. If potassium is not the correct metal, then we'll move on to sodium. So performing the same calculation, now we would have magnesium, which would be Mg plus half O2 giving us MgO. So this would mean that two moles of magnesium would react with one mole of oxygen. Therefore, the moles of magnesium that would react 
should also be 0 0.025 because uh, two moles of magnesium reacting with one mole of oxygen. So 0 0.025 moles of oxygen are reacting. So we would move on to 1.15 divided by the AR of magnesium, which is 24.3. And this gives us a value of 0 0.0473 moles, eliminating magnesium as one of the correct options. So the next metal is potassium. So for potassium, we would have two moles of potassium reacting with half mole of oxygen because the formula for potassium oxide is K2O. And this would produce the oxide K2O. Now here, two is to half means 4 is to 1 is the ratio for the metal reacting with oxygen. So for this case, we would multiply 0 0.125 into 4, which would give us the moles of oxygen to be 0 0.05 moles. So now dividing the mass of uh, potassium, which is 1.15 in this case. So 1. 0.15 divided by the AR of potassium, 39.1, gives us a value of 0.0294 moles. This eliminates potassium as the correct option, making sodium the correct option for this question. But we will prove by calculating that the mass of sodium, uh, that is 1.15, 1.15 divided by the AR of sodium, which is 23, equals to 0 0.05 moles, which is the requirement for the oxygen, which is also 0 0.05 as calculated. So, since we have obtained a value of 0 0.05 moles for sodium, this proves that the moles of sodium that is obtained is in line with the mass given in the question, which is 1.15 grams, making option D the correct option for this question. Question 9. Sodium azide NaN3 decomposes as shown. Which volume of nitrogen measured at room temperature and pressure will be produced by the decomposition of 150 grams of sodium azide? So the first thing we need to do is we need to calculate the MR of sodium azide, which would be 23 plus 14 into 3, giving us a value of 65. The next thing we need to do is calculate the moles of sodium is that that would be 150 as the mass mass upon mr which is 65 giving us a molar value of 2.30769 moles so now we have moles of sodium azide now we need to calculate the moles of nitrogen according to the given equation the ratio of sodium azide is to nitrogen is 2 is to 3 so 2.30769 moles would produce how much of nitrogen? So the calculation would become 2.30769 divided by 2 and multiplied by 3, giving us a value of 3.46 moles of nitrogen. So now that we have obtained the moles of nitrogen, what we need to do is now calculate the volume of nitrogen. So according to the given data, one mole of any gas occupies a volume of 24 dm cube. So 3.46 moles of nitrogen would occupy a value of 3.46 divided by 1 multiplied by 24, which would give us a value of 83.08 dm cube, making option B the correct option for this question. Question 10. 
6.90 grams of an ammonium salt is heated with an excess of aqueous sodium hydroxide. The volume of ammonia produced measured under room conditions is 2.51 dm cube. Which ammonium salt is used? So, uh, the given salts are ammonium carbonate. Its formula would be NH4 twice CO3. Then we have ammonium chloride, NH4Cl. Then we have ammonium nitrate, NH4NO3. And then we have ammonium sulfate, which would be NH4 twice SO4. So, when reacted with sodium hydroxide, the number of moles of ammonium ions is equal to the number of moles of ammonia produced. So, first we calculate the moles of ammonia that is produced. So, the given value for the volume of ammonia is 2.51 and since it is in dm cube we divide this by 24 and obtain a value of 0.1046 moles now one by one we will calculate the moles of ammonia produced with each corresponding salt so the mass that they have mentioned is 6.90 so in the case of ammonium carbonate it would be 6.90 divided by 96 as the mr of Ammonia, this gives us a value of 0 0.0719 moles. But the number of moles of ammonia produced would be twice of this because there are two ammonia mines present. So multiply this by 2 and we have a final value of 0 0.144 moles of ammonia, which is not the same as 0 0.1046, eliminating ammonium carbonate as the correct option. Moving on to option B, we have ammonium chloride. And since there are only one ammonium ion present, we will not multiply this by any other value. All we have to do is divide 6.9 by 53.5, which gives us a value of 0 0.128 moles, which is not 0 0.1046, eliminating ammonium chloride as the correct option. For option C, ammonium nitrate, there is only one mole of ammonia produced as well. So we divide 6.9 by 80, which gives us a value of 0 0.0863, which is also incorrect because we needed 0 0.1046. So ammonium nitrate has also been eliminated. By selection through elimination, D has to be the correct option, but we will calculate the value of the moles of ammonia produced. Here we have ammonium sulfate having two ammonium ions. So we will multiply the moles uh, that we obtain by two. So 6.9 divided by 132.1 gives us a value of 0 0.0522 moles, which we multiply by two to obtain a value of 0 0.1046 moles. That is the required number of moles. So this makes option D the correct option for this question.